The truth of hell is as much a part of divine revelation as is the truth of heaven. You turn to evil. Why? Because you love evil. Because we love evil. Oh, who loves evil? That's crazy. Nobody loves evil. Oh, sure we love evil. We sure do. Every time we sin, we love evil. Why? Well, do we understand what we mean by evil? What is evil? Rejecting God is evil. That's kind of a good definition of it. That's not an action of evil. That is evil. Evil equals rejecting God. It becomes sealed for eternity. The same thing happens when we reject God for eternity. This is why hell never ends. Hell never ends because heaven never ends. Why would, a, why would God throw someone into hell for all eternity? God doesn't throw someone into hell for all eternity, but he permits them to get out of his loving gaze, which to them is searing fire hotter than the deepest pits of hell. Jesus himself calls hell, his words, fire, everlasting fire, eternal damnation, damnation of hell, the furnace of fire, the fire that is never quenched, where the worm never dies, where there is wailing and gnashing of teeth, a place of torments, and outer darkness. That's the second person of the Blessed Trinity saying that. We have all over Scripture that people go to hell. Not maybe they do. It says it explicitly. And to deny that flies in the face of everything Jesus says. Jesus says, strive to enter by the narrow gate. He says, strive to enter by the narrow gate. For many, I tell you, will seek to enter and will not be able.